which we have handled, which we have seen with our eyes. Again. This is the word of truth. We have not followed cunningly devised fables. So we were eyewitnesses of this thing. We walk in Bible, but we have seen the Lord. Our eyes have seen the Lord. I don't know about you. When you have become a supernatural Christian, God gets into you and starts walking himself. He no longer leads. He is now Ayakara. 100 percent true. I saw German written on your forehead like German. 15 October. Yes. 1981. Better do it. You know me and you know everything. <laughs> if I be a prophet of God, miracle money now. Declared miracle money. There's 55,000 in his bank account. How much is this? Bob. It's not 150 and I only had items. <laughs> Supernatural weight loss. Somebody who is sick can just be healed like that. Yes. This is the good news we preach. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction. And always worth hearing. All things are possible. All things. What does it mean, all things? You know, I looked it in the Greek. All means all. That means you can get to a point in your life in the things of the Lord that there is infinite possibilities in the realm of the Spirit. As long as we tune into the realm of the Spirit, infinite possibilities. When they shall say there is a bringing down, we shall say there is a lifting up. I want to give you some nuggets today. Just some nuggets, just a few things. <laughs> all things, all things are possible. How many things? All things. I'm speaking to presidents of countries. I'm speaking to governors of countries. I'm speaking to mayors of countries. I'm speaking to ministers of countries. I'm speaking to ministers. I'm speaking to councillors, mayors of towns, governors of regions. Sit down. So the ministration today is called the vehicles of the spirit. 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 Most things in the spirit, they are not lent. They are caught. That's what the Bible says. These things came as holy men were carried away in the spirit. There was a carrying away. But that thing that carried them was a vehicle. Your problem is simple. You are thinking you are supposed to be feeling some kind of way. When you don't get into the spirit the way you need to get in the spirit is because you fail to get a vehicle to get you there. Human beings can be vehicles. There is a location you get to where you feel you are turned on in your spirit. Just, just, just by, by, being, by being in this branch right now, I feel something. I'm, I don't know if you are hearing what I'm talking about. Where, where you sense just by being such, uh, in such and such a location, there is something that it does to your spirit. Sit down. Ah. I'm going to say something you don't like to hear because you're too holy. Turn to your neighbor and say, only a foolish woman believes the lies of a naked man.
I will give you the world. Uh, meanwhile, he doesn't own even one square meter of land. Why are those lies possible? Because of the environment. So there are some environment in the positive, in the Holy Spirit. Environment that push you to some area where you, you just feel like I can do something now. I can do. Right now, I, I know I can do a lot here. Sit down. So when we begin to move around, it is because of the possibilities in an environment. Let me tell you something. I went to Pastor Felix and Pastor Michelle's house yesterday. From afar, listen. I've not been to this other place. But you see, I argued with prophetess that I've been to Felix house so many times. She was like, no, you have never been to. I said, so many times. I saw it on a photo. And it felt like I was there so many times. So when I was away, far from the place, I said, that's his house there. What was happening? Something in my spirit. There was an environment. When I was coming out of that place, I said, I'm going to be there almost every week. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about? Why? Environments. Sit down. So, we find Elijah leaving a certain location in the, in the book of 2 Kings. Chapter number 2. Zavura telegon for on featesis. Jeruna no manglish the agdarita on fregesias. Verse number one says it this way. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Girugal. Now, so, so they are leaving Girugal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord yet sent me to Bethel. And Eli sure said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went to Bethel. So Gilgal, Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came from forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knoweth not thou thy master will be taken by the Lord today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. Now is the third place. And as the Lord liveth, I will not leave you, he says. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho said the same thing. And verse number six. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. Now four towns. Why is he moving four towns? He has not found the place where his spirit could be carried. Ah, no, 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 no. You are not hearing me at all. That, that means that means he's in Gilgal. And according to God, there is nothing that could connect to his spirit that could carry him to heaven. So he goes to Bethel. And Bethel, there is nothing to carry him there. And he goes to Jericho. In Jericho, there is nothing to carry him there. And he comes to spirit him. Sorry. No. What, what, what? And something is found that could carry him to that location. Say that. So, so there are environments that we call vehicles of the spirit. Some people you just move around, you go around, and all of a sudden you just feel like, yeah, yeah, I can pray here. I can pray here. There are people that you know for sure if you're around them, you will never pray. Nah. You are not hearing me. And I know in English we call that peer pressure. It is not peer pressure. It's the lack of environments. Lack of vehicles in the spirit that can push you there. So I know for sure. I know for sure Beverly Angel is a vehicle. I know for sure you better Angel is a vehicle. I know Felix and Michelle are vehicles. I know Spirit Embassy is a vehicle. I know Good News World is a vehicle. Sit down. Are you flowing? 
How on earth can you be the angel become the father of the modern day prophetic movement? Do you know where I come from? Zaka. How have I moved the world now? Why is it in every continent, any major prophet in that continent will say, it's you, but the angel that we took from. How? Because I, I, I located my vehicle. Something that can carry me from one location to the other. Something that can move me from one area to the other. There is a vehicle of the spirit, ladies and gentlemen. There is a vehicle. Have you found your vehicle? Sit down. Let me tell you something. Do you understand? Do you understand the biggest opportunity the devil gets to distract you from your opportunity? To get a vehicle. He will employ that opportunity. The Bible says, And there shall come a prophet, or rather the son of man, which is Jesus Christ, and some shall rise by his unction, and some will fall by his unction. Ladies and gentlemen, you have every opportunity to rise by my unction, or to fall by the same unction. Choose rising. I said choose rising. Choose rising. Sit down. You think at this level of our lives we are afraid of people opposing us? No. Not everyone has the test for class. Not everyone. Not everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> understanding this yeah. have you ever gone to to the fields or ever did any cattle ranging or even heading you'll find that there is a beetle which is a cow dung beetle that one only goes for the dung of the cow it makes them into balls throw bread there it will ignore bread Even if you throw, throw lasagna there, it will ignore it. It will concentrate on cow poop. So there are some people who will never accept you because not everybody. <laughs> Sit down before you cramp my style. Are you flowing? So there are areas you understand when you understand the vehicle of your spirit, you understand what carries you there. You don't care. Sometimes we go shortcuts and sometimes we go the longer route. There are adversities that will cause you to rise. That means adversity, son, can actually be vehicles of the spirit. They will fight you in this direction. Then you get promoted. I said, watch. Did I just say something? <laughs> Sit down. Did I say interpret it in... I said we will interpret tongues, right? You're hearing correctly. We are moving to higher dimensions. And you can just be sitting there and wondering... What does it mean? What does he say? What is he talking about? Listen to me. Are you flowing? Do you realize that as a friend like in Kravunde Chatupre Ephra ask us? There are some things I can explain better in tongues. Now, now understand this. Do you know, son, as you stand here? You don't understand. You don't understand. Do you know, Pastor, that, that your body doesn't know you are in Zimbabwe? 
No, no, sit down, sit down. Sit down. I, I see you're missing this one. Sit down. Do you know your body has no idea that it's in Zimbabwe now? No idea. This is the reason one time you'll be dancing and dancing and dancing and enjoying whatever you are enjoying. And then someone says, imagine you are dancing. Hmm? Imagine you are dancing, Pastor Tony. This is Pastor Tony from Tanzania. Now, now, imagine, imagine you are busy dancing. You are busy dancing. And somebody says, hey, your uncle died. Your body goes. That means the body, sit down, son. Because the body did not know of the death of somebody. So the body remained in tune until the ears heard. So you are a product of the information you put in. So your body doesn't know you are broke. Your body doesn't know you are sick. Your body doesn't know you are... Just change the information that gets in. I say change the information. Sit down. Your body never knew it was broke. Until you got to that one bedroom house of yours. When you entered it said, ah, this is not what we classify as rich. Your body starts, we are broke. So imagine the Bible says, my tongue is a pen of a ready writer. For I speak of things I've seen before the Lord. My tongue is a pen of a ready writer. So I need to tell myself information that my body, even if I get into a one-bedroomed house, I say, this is just a journey. I know my mansion is. This is just... So, 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 your body begins to... Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Sit down. So your mouth can be a vehicle to actually change what you believe. Your mouth can change it. Are you flowing, Elder? Are you flowing? So you are a result of your eyes and your ears. What your eyes see, it tells the body. Do you know right now you are being controlled by a thing that has never seen the world? It's in your brain. Your brain is inside your head. It has never seen the world. You tell it what is there. And then your brain tells you, let's work like this. It informs you of things it never saw. You see, this ministry, I understand, if you are new, this ministry, you come one day, you live with a doctorate, one Sunday. So if you skip school, we understand why you won't like us. Just imagine the brain that is between your ears. Is the one telling you how to move. Yet it has never seen the world you are moving in. So you better really look differently. Because your eyes have to see something. Your eyes are vehicles. They are vehicles. Look at how many ladies are trying to be slim. Because somebody said you need to be slim. I have five. Somebody in America told us, if you don't eat, if you don't do this, and you just slim, you are the perfect lady. Look at every model you see walking. They look like they need food. One day I watched that program, I looked at it, I said, oh my God, we need to donate. You better end your foundation, donate. Why? Information told everybody this is what we call beauty. In Africa, we call that hunger. Trust me, we have one easy way of seeing a rich man. Now, please, I'm not going to describe that one. Because there are some people here in front here. Some gentlemen here. 
Why is it that the information we are being told is controlling the world? Very simple. Very simple. We do not operate on anything we hear. What we hear is transmitted to our body. And our body decides to act on the information. Your body doesn't know it's broke. Doesn't know you lack anything. Do you realize that we never used to have salt on earth? In the sense of we never used to use salt. Okay. The word salary comes from the word salt. That's why people say he is worth his salt. People were being paid in salt. I don't know you. Did you do history in this country? Early in the 15th century, a man called Nyatsimba Mutota traveled northward in search of salt. His father spat him out and said, oh, you see now. Anyway, sit down. You never did history. You are liar, liar, pens on fire. I passed my shona. You are joking. Pass the history. Which history? You don't know nothing. When all even to the great Zimbabwe, looking for salt, not gold. Salt was more important. No diamonds. Salt was important. No minerals. Salt was important. But uh, the day we tested that salt, now you can't eat meat with no salt. Yet it was the norm to eat it with no salt. It was okay. The day you tested, ah, olive oil. Hey! Now if you cook with no olive oil, like, no, it's poverty. <laughs> what? Information is told our bodies to react to something. So they are vehicles of the spirit. And when those vehicles are not a dead to you, don't listen to a vehicle. What happens is you begin to deteriorate spiritually. Your light begins to dim. A man called Ezekiel was caught by the lock of his neck in the spirit and was suspended between heaven and earth. Lock of his neck. Suspended between heaven and earth. The spirit. Then the Bible says he dwelt for days in another location while his wife is thinking he's at home. No, no. You don't understand this. The man is with his wife at home. And God takes him to a certain location where he stayed there for days. He said, I sat with them and I was amazed at what they were saying. Yet he's at home with his wife. And he's in another town. The vehicle of the spirit can carry you. Let me tell you something. Do you know it's possible to go back to the past and make your great-grandfather to stop what he did to affect the country and the nation and your village and you and you as a family. No, no, you don't understand this. Oh, yeah, I, I knew this. This is... See, 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 see. We don't believe this. All things are possible. Infinite possibilities. You can literally gen four generations before now. We did this with a white brother in, 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 in UK. White brother, the whole generation had a genome that was susceptible to the issue of heart attacks. And the Lord said, go back into his life. Begin to prophesy who was the problem. And delete the genome sequence that causes the heart problems in the family. I went there and I said it. A few weeks later, the man went to the hospital to get a battery of checks on his blood. And they tested even the DNA, the dioxyribonucleic acid, uh, to try to test the genome sequence. And they found that it was deleted. No, no, you're not hearing. You can literally move into the past and say, now, I'm going to the past tonight. I'm here to teach generals. I'm not teaching some church members and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I'm here to teach generals. You can literally say at the, in the middle of the night, 1 a.m., I am going into the past by the Spirit. Everything that my uncle, my... 
my great grandfather messed up in the spirit. I'm deleting this poverty genome. All of a sudden, your uncle wakes up from his one bedroom house and then realizes that something was missing. And then you will find a letter by the door and say, um, By the way, there is a great grandfather of yours who had a house in Borodell. We have just discovered that the documents were missing, but they are yours. That's why the Bible says, you shall live in houses you have not built, houses you have not built, you will plow in fields you have not... Aye! Sit down. There is something about God. That if you dare believe him, I said if you dare believe him, you can do anything. Philip was just moving like this, and Philip was wanted in another city. What happened? The Bible says he was carried there. He just arrived in the location. What was it? Transport of the spirit. You won't see it being, being done. You, you, you don't. Listen, I was here in, um, during the First Republic under Robert Mugabe. And I was there, and I came back here from UK. And when I came back, they said to us, you need a visa. Me. <laughs> From Zaga. I needed a visa to stay in this country. And for some reason, they had accepted my wife's visa. So they said, I'm a dependent of her. That means I would go on her status in Zimbabwe and become... Uh, as it were, carried on her back to be able to stay here. Yes, because at that time they act, did not accept dual citizenship. So I had a British passport and wanting to be in my country. So I would have to deny one citizenship and take the other one. So they said, but before we do that, we have to get to do some medicals. If you fail those medicals, we can't give you a visa to stay here. So they did some medicals. They did my heart checks, everything done. Hospital here in town. And after a few days, they said, come to take your results. I went there, said, you have passed. Your results are clear. Everything is done. Not that I was expecting anything. But then the doctor said, Les, um, uh, what I also noticed something have you noticed when you read your thing? I, I read, I said, hey, what is this line saying? He said, we have just realized that where you had a heart operation, it is healed. Jesus. Nobody, nobody did any heart operation on me in my whole life. No sign. I said, say, look, there is nothing, no sign. He was so shocked. The doctor was so shocked. Until God said, read what Apostle Paul says. He says, I have the signature of Christ. Ah! Ah, I have the markings of God on me. I have the markings of God on me. God had to sign on my, on my heart. Imagine God entering you like this and, and come out. <laughs> Sit down. This is the reason I, I have some, some kind of, it seems as if, an infinite love for people. I just, I just feel compassion for people. Even some that will actually betray me later. I just, you wonder why you are greeting this guy again. They will be fighting me, they're sitting down with me like this. Why is it my heart is never broken? Here goes for my sisters. He broke my heart. <laughs> if you gave it to Christ, it will not be broken. <laughs> the problem is you give it to somebody. You come here, you lie to us. I want to give my heart to Christ. We pray for you. You say, now my heart belongs to Christ. Two weeks later, the boyfriend leaves you. My heart is broken. 
Kofi Akwa. Give it to Christ. Yeah. Now hear this. So, so too many people don't understand that the person, this same wife you married can be the vehicle of the spirit. Every problem I have ever gotten into, my wife told me not to do it. And I did it. I come from Masingo. We don't listen to wives. What are you talking about? No, this person is not good for you, daddy. Okay. Sometimes I just look like... I feel the Nigerian coming out of me. <laughs> Two months later, one year later, the same person. You see, women have a certain level of understanding. When it comes to who will betray you, who might be a problem, women, women kind of have a certain level. Men, we don't care, we just go like... Women go like... Sometimes it might be just your Instagram. And maybe that day, because we don't manage our Instagram, maybe one day somebody will just go and go like, like, like an emoji. Your wife will be like, why would they put an emoji? <laughs> it's just an emoji. Nobody said anything. Then they'll be like, it's, but it's a fire emoji. It's a fire one. <laughs> Women have a certain level of understanding that if you understand your wife, not your husband, your wife can actually be a vehicle of the spirit to take you to another level. But because we are men and we are supposed to be leaders, we should not listen. Listen. Are you here or have you gone home? I can see some people are testifying. There are people talking right now. But because, you see, we understand that we shouldn't listen to our wives, so to speak. That's what we say. But there is something there, I help meet. The word help meet does not mean helper. Preachers have lied to you. The word meet means suitable. They are a help suitable. That means they, are, they cover. Where your weaknesses are, they are, that's where they are strong. So if you want that person to be the vehicle to the spirit, hey, you got to have to understand how to honor what you were given as a thing that fixes your weaknesses. Because I tell you the truth, if there is somebody who knows your weakness, it's your wife. God, you know, you know, yes, we are called by God. We are called. You, you see, if you want to go to any church, don't even look at people. Trust me. If you want to know the truth, the preacher is preaching here. If he starts giving testimonies, look at the wife. They say, yeah, I saw Jesus. <laughs> Wives don't know how to lie. They just they say, hallelujah, hallelujah. And you know, nah, nah. Just a few days ago, there was a man <laughs> told Pastor Felix here. You know, I used to teach these people at, at, at um, a Bible school, all these men of God, these young men of God that are coming up now. I was their lecturer, Bible school. Yeah, all of them that you think of, you know here. Now, some came to Pastor Felix and said, yes, you are not called at all. They said you are not called, so you are disqualified at the Bible school. Right now, he is cleaning uh, uh, cars, the same guy. <laughs> and look at this. <laughs> there is a calling on the inside of you. It's just waiting for you to recognize who your vehicle is. What is your vehicle? Sit down. 
Sometimes you can wake up in middle of the night. You just wake up like this. You just feel like, I, I think I need to fast. Maybe tomorrow I'll fast. No, say. The vehicle is about to leave. Don't sleep. They're not getting me. The vehicle is about to leave. Don't, don't sleep like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. You, you know you have felt it, like you, you know you have felt it. Like you feel like, I think I just need to start fasting somewhere. And then you say, okay, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday. No, the vehicle has already left. When you get to Tuesday, you don't feel the same feeling. You wonder what happened. The vehicle of the Spirit has already left you. You wake up in the middle of the night. I need to fast. Don't say, I'll sleep, I'm now fasting. No, sit down, take your Bible. You are now in the fasting mode. You're not begin to fast. You don't talk to nobody, you're fasting. They call you, you switch off your phone. You're fasting. Why? The vehicle of the Spirit is allowing you to board. Don't let it go. Don't let it go. Sometimes it is a burden of the Spirit. You just wake up and you feel you need to pray for somebody. It might be your relative. It might be your, even your enemy. You just feel like I need to pray now. I need to pray. Right now, that's a vehicle of the Spirit. Just jump in. Listen, real men and women of God don't create waves of the Spirit. They jump onto one that is already created. The problem with churches is we are moving to try and push the Spirit, to move the Spirit. In that one bedroom room of yours, you want to move the hand of God. Yeah, we are going to move the hand of God by this prayer. Hey, you have not met the hand of God. The hand of God is not a, a, a hand, like an organ. It is a dimension. When you hear that the earth is his footstool, don't think of a foot. Don't. No. It's a round called the feet of God. Why is it that people like, 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 like Stephen would be stoned and God stands up from his throne? And your whole family dies and nobody does nothing. Why do you think it is possible that when the man is being stoned, God leaves, vacates his own throne and stands up to inspect the damage? You, last week you lost everything. Nobody stood for you. It's not that he wasn't standing. You missed the vehicle of the spirit when God was saying, jump in, there is trouble coming. I see somebody, in fact, I have a strange feeling that by this menstruation, I brought somebody out. Oh, sir. Sit down. This man were very, very good at jumping onto something. When Elijah got to the end, he realized that I'm just waiting for the chariot of fire. But he knew the chariot of fire was not going to take him to heaven. The Bible said the chariot of fire separated the two. And Elijah was seen going up to heaven in a whirlwind, not in a chariot of fire. I know we have songs that talk about And people get in the spirit when they hear the song. They get in the spirit. Like, ah. Oh, you're getting into the feelings. Because no lie can get you in the spirit. It's only the truth. And the truth you know that will make you free. He was seen go up into heaven. Going up to heaven. By a whirlwind. Not the chariot of fire. So you see the mistake of thinking the chariot of fire is the vehicle when it's a whirlwind. So you need to see some movements that separate you from other people. Now they missed that. They missed that. You know, Tony, they're, they're missing this thing. There are some movements that will move you from people. So before the vehicle takes you, there are some people you need to detach yourself from. The Bible says, Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. Even Jesus knocks on your heart. That little boyfriend of yours, you just allowed him without knocking. Hey. 
God who created the universe, he gets to your heart and knocks. He wants permission to get in. Now that sister by long legs just got in. I see you are quiet. I've just touched you. One small thing got that sister in. Now took everything you owned. Everything, the car, the house. Now, once the house, now the court is signing. What happened? She didn't knock. Vehicles of the spirit. What do you have? What is the thing? In fact, what is this song that pushes you into the spirit? That's vehicle of the spirit. You know there are some songs that when, when they start singing that song, you don't even want them to continue. You'll be like, no, 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 not now. I can see all oh, this. You, you are like, ah, I don't, I've ne it ne has never happened to me. <laughs> Do you know those songs that you know, even me, I know you tricky people here in, in Arare branch. When, when they start singing there, I know what they're trying to do for me to prophesy. So I have to go back into something in, and move into another vehicle so that I leave that prophecy alone. But I already know the moment they start singing that song, I'll be like, no, close your ears. This is not going to happen because it changes everything and I start prophesying. Why? Simple. It's a vehicle in the spirit for me to do that. Even in the natural, there are vehicles in the spirit. Do you know how many babies were born because of Anna Kelly? Anyway, forget it. I can hear someone else go deeper. <laughs> I think I've already gone deeper. <laughs> Why? Because in the evil side of it, there are also vehicles. I pray for somebody over there. Let your amen thunder like fire. Yeah. I pray for somebody over there that nothing that the Lord prepared for you will be missed because you missed your vehicle. I remove your eyes of the flesh and put the eyes of the spirit. For you to recognize your vehicle when the vehicle comes. Yes. Those who are watching me by way of television. Yes. Everything that you are right now. Yes. Your eyes are open. Yes. To see the realm of the spirit. Yes. And to recognize the transportation of the spirit when it comes. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Let your amen thunder like fire. Let your amen thunder like fire. Yeah. Sit down. The Bible says, and Jesus walked on the water. Jesus. He knew this water should be my transport. Jesus was something. He would do whatever he wanted. One day he would be in a boat. He said, this is transport for today. That's my vehicle. I'll get there. One minute he was like, okay. He sends his disciples and said, go. I'll follow. Hush. I, self, my, I see myself being promoted. I see it. No, no, I'm just talking about me. No, this is not for you. This is just, just for me. I see myself getting rich. Ah, this, this is just for me. Please, people, sit down. Your, yours has not come yet. This is just my vehicle now. I'm a multi billionaire. Ah, yeah. This, this is not for you. Sit down. Sit down. You see, see what you did there? You knew there was a vehicle that looked like your vehicle. So you jumped into that vehicle. That means every promotion I receive, you also receive that. It's just that some of you are not open to this thing. Hey! Sit down. Are you flowing? Are you flowing? Yes, sir. Remember what I said to you. It will take three devils, three satans to make you not rise. And God only created one devil. And that one devil is already defeated. Matthew 7, 24. 
Sama huri kaya ready? La rush! Bakito suplish! Agaku shamola! Tropo topo toplia! Rizizo jigi! Yeso prokoto ziza! Waba! Praktela gaga! 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 Praktela gaga! Le crosta de la mia Crisco. Sit down. Yes. When you understand the vehicles of the Spirit, nothing comes to you. you, you it's like, what are you bothering me with? See, here is the issue. I want to tell you a true story. The moon began to argue with the sun. <laughs> now, do you understand? So the moon is talking to the sun, and they started arguing. The moon says, hey, there's a place I've seen. The sun said, yeah, where? He said, oh, it's in another location there where there is only darkness. No light. Your light doesn't get there. The moon said, ah, no, 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 no. Look, I'm telling you the truth. I've seen this. The sun said, there's nothing, no place like that. He said, no, look, I will show it to you. Then you go there and you see it for yourself. The sun said, okay, let's go there. The moon pointed at the location and the sun went and stayed there. First week, the sun sent a message. Maybe on WhatsApp. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, moon. Things are going on well here, but I have not seen the darkness. The moon said, stay there. It's there. I have seen it several times. Three months later, the sun said, I'm leaving. You lied. The moon realized one truth. Said, I now know what's the problem, what the problem is. Wherever you go, darkness is not there. You see, 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 the reason why there is no poverty in my life, I am money. Now, now, sit. now, I know you didn't hear me. I don't know. The reason why healing is there and no sickness because I am that healing. The Bible says, ye are the light of the world. Ye are the light. You are the light. And where light is not, darkness can stay. Sit down. What causes men to be so dangerous? Are you hearing? Benson Ida also was standing there in his house praying. A week later, people came from Britain. White men came from Britain to talk to him, to just see this general of the Lord. And when they got there, are you hearing? Yes. When they got to this location and they sat there, with him, he said, look, I'm not going to bed. You sit here. You will be given your place to sleep. So they were given another house there. And they went to sleep in there. Seven white men coming to see one black man in Nigeria. And a robber came. Robbers came with machetes. And I said, give us money. Because they had heard that there are white people there so they might have money. Give us money. He said, we don't have money. Take us to the landlord. Said the landlord, that's his house. They ran. All of them ran and got into this room. And the wife of Archbishop Idawasa came out and said, Oh, what's, what's happening? Said, Look, we're just here. We need money. So they started praying. They, started, they said, Shut up. We need money now. The wife said, Let's call the Archbishop. Archbishop heard the noise. He came out and said, what's this noise? The robber said, we want money. He said, I will count up to four. <laughs> he 
He said, who are you? They said, we are men of darkness. Why are you asking us, who are you? He said, I'm in the men of the afternoon. <laughs> I will count up to four. If you are still here, you will be finished. You will die here. One. He didn't get to two. A man with no weapons. Dangerous. What causes men to be like this? He went to a, to a crusade. And the mayor of that crusade, of that location, and the governor, they sat together and said there was a match. Nigeria is playing another, another country, Cameroon. And he's, as they were playing this match, he said, you, uh, that's where I booked my crusade. They said, no, it's the game that will play. They will play a game in there. He went to the, everyone started going back home. Because it was double booked. He said, put me on radio. He went on radio, on TV. He said, I decree and declare, as Idawosa, thunder and lightning on that ground. If they don't apologize to me now and give me my venue, thunder and lightning. Someone told us this is what Idawosa is saying. They called him, said, if they don't apologize to me now, they went to him and called him and said, come here. You can take the ground. We'll go into another one. <laughs> men of fire are men who realize where the vehicles are and they ride the vehicle and move in. Yes. Sit down. Do you know my issue? What's to do with America and Zimbabwe? The moment Pastor Chris said to me, you need to go to Zimbabwe. Let people come from those nations to you in Zimbabwe. I did not, listen. I did not do it. Didn't do it. Until the angel of the Lord said, you are dying in November. Two things I had not done. As a matter of fact, when I was told that I called Pastor Yes, I said, Deal with the prayer mountain. Do this with the good news city. Do this now. We need planning permission for this. We need planning permission for this. And I called Pastor uh, Felix and I called Miss Mabiga. I said, do this, do this. In those times, a man of God had gotten into a vehicle I was not in. So it is not just you. It's people like us who are also prophets. We miss our vehicles. Imagine Two years ago, if I had jumped into the vehicle when Pastor Chris said it. So, you might think I'm speaking it because I always jump into my vehicle. Never. I also have plans I have because when you're a minister of the gospel, you feel for your kids in the spirit. No, I need to be in America. I need to be in Dubai. I need to be in Japan. I need to be in this location. I need to be in this location. He said... Fix that one. New Year's Eve was a result of the Spirit speaking to Pastor Chris. It was said to be in Britain. He said, go Zimbabwe. That's why almost every New Year's Eve I know will be done here. Sit down. Do you think we will fit here? He said to me something. He said, don't be a pastor of any branch. When you sense the vehicle, if that vehicle is moving every week, be found every week in that church. If that vehicle is for Wednesday, go to Wednesday. That's why I let go of branches a year and a half ago. I don't have a branch. Maybe some of you don't know that. Prophetess doesn't even have a branch. Birmingham is under someone now. The CEO knows this. And leaders know this. Why are we like that? But one thing I know where I will be for sure 
it will be the good news city. That, that one. Nation shall come. You guys watching me now. You shall. You will come to hear wisdom from God's lips. Yes. Nations are gathering now. I said nations are gathering now. Yes. Sit down. Hey. Who's Some of you are ready. Say Junda Ligo Akrus Kalama. So you can miss, you can miss. Did we have our scripture? The vehicle had to take me back. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Notice, that means now the words of Christ have become a vehicle. That's what the Bible says, search the scriptures. He said, you know, you know, you know, look at what it says, search the scriptures. For in them you think. He doesn't say for in them there is. He said, for in them you think. That means in the scriptures here, you think there is eternal life here. There is nothing. Uh -uh. The Bible says you are just thinking it's there. That's what you think that you find eternal life. He says, search the scriptures. For in them, you think you have eternal life. Yet, they are only there to point at the eternal life with Christ. No. They, they're missing this one. Have you ever been to the Midlands and you see a sign written, Harare? You know what, you, what else you need to read? The kilometers. But now the roads have been fixed, so uh, this testimony won't work. Way before this, you see Harare and no kilometers. What does that mean? You don't say, you don't go to that signpost and go like, ah, where are you? Ah, in Harare. <laughs> it's just a signpost. So the Bible is saying, if you look in the scriptures, the graphe as the Greek puts it, you think you have eternal life for this word is simply a signpost to Christ. If the word of God does not get you to Christ, it is not the word of God. The devil knows the word, but he remains at the signpost. That's why he can't be born again. He can even quote the scriptures, but he can't be born again. He is dealing with the signposts, not the location. Harare is not on the signpost. Look at the miles. London is not on the signpost. Look at the miles. New York is not on the signpost. Look at the miles. Are you hearing? Are you hearing me? Now let's go back to Matthew 7. Because of time. Uh -huh. There's some, there's some things that just happen to you on your own. You know when you look like this and you can see. Have you ever wondered why I don't just come here and prophesy? Sometimes I do it. Why? Have you ever wondered what goes into my mind? What goes? You know, see, see, my father asked me one thing. He said, son, who do you think is happening in God's mind right now? I said, sir, I never thought of those things. Like, who sits down and go like, hmm, what is God thinking now? <laughs> who wants to be caught up in that? <laughs> Only spirits. Amen. Now hear this. It says, if you hear my words, it, please listen. Are you there, the back there? Yeah. <laughs> the back benches, I love them. <laughs> so, this one's in front here, ha. Huh? Sit down. Therefore, whosoever hears these sayings of mine and doeth them, not just hears them, doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. Push. 
The rain descended and the floods came. And the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock. Listen to me. The winds of life do not come to test you. I'm being tested. No. They are coming to test the foundation where you are standing. No, they're not getting me. The storms, I tell you something. Let the storms rage. Let the rains fall in torrents. I'm standing on the rock which is Christ. I'm not moved. Now some of you say, I'm being tested. You, you are not being tested. What is being tested is the foundation. As long as the foundation is Christ, you are simply going through. And the reason why you are going through is because going through does not mean you are staying. You are going through. I'm going through something good for you. At least you are not stuck. I'm just going through some problems. You are going through. You already know you are going through. Someone saying, someone said to me, Prophet, don't, no, do not worry. These people just talk and talk. I know you're going through something. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I said, uh -uh. I enter the tunnel with light. I am the light. I said, we are the light of the world. We are the light because Christ is our light. We enter the tunnel with our light. There is nothing called the light at the end of the tunnel. What evil? What demonic power will give you light at the end of the tunnel? I need to be moving now with my light going there. Yes. Sit down. Are you flowing? Yes. Are you flowing? Yes. What causes men to be moving things like this? Here we go. Do you realize you where you are sitting there you have the power to prevent oxygen from getting into someone's nostrils. It is not the preacher. No. It says, I will baptize you with what? With fire. The word is baptizo. The Roman Catholics did not translate that word. Why? Because they sprinkle water on people. So the word baptize means to immerse underwater. So they knew if we say to people, we translate that word, people will question us why we are sprinkling people with water. So they left it in your Bible like baptize. In its original form. And just removed the O and put E. It's the word baptizo. Which simply means to put underwater. Are you realizing, listen to this. You are these for hearts. You have a certain power. You have the power to kill. It's not with the prophet. It's not with the apostle. You can literally say by this time next week. This kind of problem I'm facing now, this person here, says, son of man, these are the men that cause mischief in the city. Prophesy against them. Jesus got to a location and he realized, moved by the vehicle of the spirit, by faith, he looked at the fig tree and answered the tree. He said, and Jesus answered the tree. That means the tree spoke. Imagine hearing inanimate object talking. I sat with my father, Pastor Chris, in his house, and he said, son, do you see this table? I looked at the table. He said, this table can talk. It can move from here. And I did like that, Tim. It's true. He said, one day I was sitting in this chair, and the Lord was moving in the corridor. The Lord, Jesus. No, not in some dream. The Lord was moving in the corridor. So as he was moving in the corridor, the corridor came. Hallelujah. Oh, no. 
Do you, do you understand sitting like this? And the corridors come. Said, and the Lord, the corridor said, Jesus is walking in us. He's coming to see you. The corridor came to report. <laughs> hey! We are not human. We are not human. Say that. Some of you just came to see you, but angel prophesy. Tofia <laughs> Okay, I forgive you. That's what people came to like, yeah, yeah, you should just mention my name. Do you not know your name? He even mentioned my house address, my real door number. Do you not know your door number? You didn't did not come from there right now. What you lack is a word. The word to push you somewhere. Listen to me. Everything you're going to hear from me today is based on a vehicle that I managed to go into. If I had missed my opportunity when I was growing up, if my short mom, five foot tall, <laughs> there are some vehicles we get into. Listen to me. There are some vehicles we get into. We get into this vehicle, just enter into these vehicles like this, just enter like this. And we don't know we are entering for what reason. We are being carried by some people. My mother, five foot tall, prayed. Without my consent, I was not even in my father's loins. Yes! Said, if you're not going to give me a prophet, and if all my children are not prophets, raise me one. And she had done everything possible since she was working for this family planning as in the medical field. To block the chains and the tubes so that she will not give birth to another at the recommendation of a doctor. That's why my brother is called limit, meaning say we have ended, we have finished. They were done. And by one prayer, God, if all my children are not prophets, give me one. Five foot tall. Mountains, big and small, fell when she prayed. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Size is relative. Power is absolute. They can say you are slim, you are big, you are fat, you are tall, you are short. But when power gets onto you, it doesn't matter what people say. You speak it and power happens. Whether, whether you live in Mavuku, it's only your body that you told you are in Mavuku. Right. You move in that Mavuku like you're in Dubai. I tell you now. Yes. Yes, Lord. One of my sons who was a socialite here, who went home to be with the Lord a few months or years back, a few years back. Well, where was he staying? I called him and I said what? I said, don't go to any party. For the next 15 days, don't go there. He called, he started asking, do you mean any party? I said, don't even have a party yourself at the house. Very true, prophet. Very said, true. Don't God go. is all. Even the friends will tell you. He even told his own friends, this man said this. He went to, to, to Prophet Ed Branson. He said, if Prophet Angel says this, what does it? He said, no. Nah. If it's Prophet Angel, who says it? Just follow. Don't even try to reason. Now hear this. Where was he? Was he not living better than people in town here? Listen, you are just telling your body you need borrowed. You don't need it. <laughs> hey! Let me tell you. I have I've now gone to a life which is post-luxury. I have had Lamborghinis. At one time, I had three Lamborghinis. Yellow, red, green. Which is called Vedimandis. They don't even call, call it green. No, if it's a Lamborghini, it can't be green. It's too expensive to be called green. They call it Vedimandis. Even the red is called Lamborghini Red. 
because it might be the same as Toyota Red. It doesn't make sense. You move from there, you think, wait a minute. Why do I even need three? At that time, I needed three. I get into one drive around town. People say, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I was very, very crazy those days. <laughs> Are you hearing me or you've gone home? I've done everything. I'm post-luxury. I don't care now. Listen, I really don't care. What car I'm in, I don't care. Just last night, somebody gave me a new Lexus. Brand new. As I'm talking to you now, I've, they said send your guys. I have not even sent them. Someone says, send me, send to me. Here yeah, I am, oh Lord, send me. If it was you, before they go lay, you'll be knocking on their door like I'm, your servant is here. <laughs> when you understand God, you go beyond luxury. It's no longer necessary. The Mercedes Benz, yes, it's good, but it's no longer necessary. When the vehicles of the Spirit have been witnessed and, and seen, you no longer moved. Ask anybody who you know is rich. Take them to your house and say, what can I cook you? Prepare for you as food. I know what you're thinking. They will... Man, like you said, lasagna and the other things that you can't pronounce. It's like me, I get into a, into a restaurant, I just say to my wife, choose. Because I'm a spirit man, you know. I don't need to be, to be, you know, into this. No, I don't know what is written there. I have no idea. Some of these things are written in Italian, in Germany. I have no idea. One of my uncles went to Germany and they ordered a plate. It was written, Maso Lolo. <laughs> Someone brought a whole plate full of margarine. He said, I need this one. <laughs> you know, you just see this silver platter like this. You don't even know how to read what is written there. Like, this one. Imagine. Imagine if you take a rich man. The moment they get into your house, they are looking for special traditional meal. What has happened? What has changed from the things that they expected? Right now you live in town here. White people are not in town. They are in shorts, khaki shorts. While you are working to get an apartment in the main street, white people are in the farms. And guess what? They own the hotels you go to. And the supermarkets where you buy. They own it. You now. Hey, you want Gucci. You don't even know who Gucci is. What are you wearing? Ah, it's Gucci. You will even work, even if it means small street, you have to go. You go to Mpeza Namo and your Namo never ends. I'm very sorry I touched you. I'm very, very sorry. <laughs> Live a life of post-luxury. Concentrate on the things that matter. Well, who cares? Do you know the suit I'm wearing? Do you know the brand? Uh-huh. I know my own suit for me. Yes, it's not cheap, yes, but the reality is, it's definitely not Gucci. No, 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 listen. It's definitely not Gucci. No. He says, I wear the same size. You just miss the spirit. 
the movement of the spirit. You know the vehicle. <laughs> if you had said it two minutes before this, the vehicle was ready. I was ready to give. You see how? Are you getting what I'm trying to say? We need something that is called a post-luxury life. Post-luxury. Don't think too much about it. My God, if you just go out there and just have lunch or dinner. Do you know when you guys call men romantic, we are not. And this is biblical. It's spiritual. We can't be. The word romantic does not come from your ability to take care of a woman. It means from the Roman style. So imagine demanding from a man from Zimbabwe <laughs> to start treating you like a Roman. Are you flowing? Yes. Listen to me. Live a post-luxury life and you'll be able to get the money that you have right now to work for you. Amen. What you are thinking right now, I just need it to be written Gucci. I just need... You don't. I'm talking about my suit in the sense that if I even mention the brand, you will not know it. It's a huge branch, but you will not know it. Because I'm no longer interested in showing a certain brand. Like, look at this. Look at this brand. I wear it because of something it can do for me. My shoes are no longer shoes that are just like, is it Gucci? Yeah, let's go. No. It has to save a purpose somewhere. Maybe it gives a certain level of comfort. It has a certain arch somewhere that actually corrects my feet and that doesn't hurt me. That's it. Have you seen that old people don't care now? What is this? You know, listen. Do you know what old people don't care now? They will tell you, find me that shoe that is like this, that is so comfortable. They don't. Do you know why? Because as they were growing up, they were wearing also shoes for sure. And it has hurt their feet. This is why I tell you, my sisters, when you're wearing these high heels, it's brilliant. Carry some slippers with you. After all the photos are done. <laughs> Save yourself. Don't try to show off for nothing. Save your feet. You are trying to look like a rich man you saw. This is where your problem is. Rich people in their houses are eating vegetables with peanut butter. And Saza, you are busy trying macarons, spaghetti. <laughs> Even your money is telling you, I'm not agreeing with your style. <laughs> Live a post-luxury life. The life of the spirit is a post-luxury life. The spirit will tell you to concentrate on the spirit. Do you know white wedding? It was actually dressed by Queen Victoria. I believe it was Queen Victoria, one of the queens, that actually started wearing that and we all from that time, everyone wants a gown for wedding. <laughs> to say, who told you? Do you know how Israel used to wed? Stand up, son. Israel, a woman will stand there, a man will go like this for seven times, and you are married. <laughs> how easy. <laughs> Sit down. No. <laughs> so, do you understand what I'm talking about? A post-luxury life. Go to a level where you know you are not trying to match up with angel. Do you know the life of angel? Do you know what pitfalls and what downs and ups he went through? Do you know? Why are you trying to live like me? Copy the spiritual. Don't try to copy the natural. It's only now that I sit down and say, yeah, I bought what? Three Lamborghinis, 220,000 pounds each? For what? 
if I'd invested in a housing estate, put more houses, yeah, I have houses, but if I'd put more houses there, more houses there, more houses, I'll be talking about right now, we are just doing this, we are just doing this with this ministry, we are just doing this with this ministry. I was young and very silly. And most of you who are young are in that level. You see what people post on social media. And most of those houses, they are not theirs. They just go like this. You know, if you want to take a photo, I'll tell you. You don't go in front of a car because sometimes you don't need to touch it. It might, alarm might go off. <laughs> so here is the car here. Just put a man in front there. Don't stand here like this. No, just do like as if you are leaning. You know you're not touching it anyhow. <laughs> Perception is what is killing you. So you miss the inclination and the, and the promptings of the spirit. You miss the vehicle because you're looking at the natural song on the arrows. A sister comes to church with good earrings. Who, 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 listen, if you don't have the earrings, who, who, will you die? No. Don't worry about it. Some of you just need to leave the, your hairstylist alone. Natural hair, move like it. I know you're not listening because you came to a man who does miracle money. So your mind is, let him just declare miracle money. We'll do our hairstyle. No. Learn to live a spirit-led life that is post-luxury. Rich people are eating vegetables at home. How many know, how many here understand these dietary things that are being thrown out the information? Eat vegetables. The things that they tell you to eat are the cheap things. But you are going for the things that kill you. So that you look like you are also posh and stylish. Who defined this tile? Who defined it? Look at the Arab world. They cover their face and then they cover their bodies. And guess what we say? We say they are being abused by their men. No, they are not. They are the ones covering their bodies. Your body is everyone to see. And you think they are the ones abused. You need to get to a point in your life where things begin to move. I didn't come here to establish some posh location and some posh environment. I came here to build generals. Yes, sit down, sit down. <laughs> Live a post luxury life. It doesn't hurt you to not even have that makeup. If you can make it, if you have the money for do it. If you don't have the money for it, don't be pressured by people. Yes. You are beautiful the way you are. You are beautiful. Yes. God created the way you are. You are beautiful. Yes. And if they don't see it when you don't have a makeup, leave them alone. They are not good enough. They don't know what quality looks like. Yes, yes. makeup is good. It enhances your beauty. Shout post-luxury life. Post-luxury life. Post don't be pressured. You are a son and a daughter of major. With makeup, without makeup, with that Gucci, my brother, with that Gucci shirt, without it, doesn't matter. You are productive, you will produce results. Ah! Sit down, I'm about to finish. I'm about to finish. Why did I come here to you today? I now need to create people who come here on Sunday and say, I have a testimony. I said, which one? I went into my rural areas, one hectare plot. I did onions there. I did carrots there. I did this there, and in this location, I managed to create this money. And my family is brilliant. 
and they are living a good life. Gone are those times where somebody comes and says, I bought um, Toyota Fits. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> when you are standing here, I will ask you, did you not have another business to do than buy this car? You are being wasteful. And some of you are pressurized by testimonies. Someone just turns, they said, yes, uh, my life was very evil. I did this, I did this. And, and you can tell the next one in the queue to give a testimony is like, hey, hey, hey. I wish that one was my testimony. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Don't be pressured by people. Amen. You're good the way you are. Amen. When you get a hold of something, what we call in Africa a start, don't waste it on something that passes. This whole thing will go. Amen. Woo! Woo! I took some people to Nigeria. And we were staying there in this location. Um, and my father has given me the grace to stay where he is when I'm there. So these guys will come and come at me there and then leave. And while we were in there, he just entered the, the room from nowhere. I said, what? And now the guys were in the kitchen and they, they started moving. And he just said to one of them, said, so how are you? And the guy just said, oh, <laughs> he's looking at me. I'm like, answer. <laughs> he couldn't understand anything. He was asked question, could not say nothing. I was with you. Yeah, I was there. Nothing, zero. Because you're seeing something you have seen all this time, an action. And you are like, am I me? Talking to? I was in, I was in London and I was moving like this. And this man stopped me. See, oh my God. Oh my God. So I smiled, you know. S somebody knows me. Which I don't do often. Not the smile. But smiling, someone say, hey, you better enjoy it. Doesn't face me. Used to. And then he said, oh my God. I'm, I'm so blessed. Uh, Miracle TV, right? Miracle TV. I said, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Said, so, how is Prophet Angel? You, you are the one who holds the mic, right? Mrs. Vehicle. But guess one thing? It hampered me. Not everyone knows you. For what? The man is like Miracle TV. And he thinks I'm the usher holding them. <laughs> That's it. Do you realize this life we live, there are so many ups and downs. But in that ups and downs, we don't live a life of ups and downs. We have a mountaintop perspective. So when I see trouble coming my way, I see promotion coming my way. It is always disguised as chaos. Are you flowing? What is happening that people around the world receive miracles by just watching us. They are there right now. People watching. 
They are receiving miracles. And this is just Zoom where we put only partners. Imagine the other ones watching on TV. Millions of them. What causes people to say, I'm going to tune into this experience? Because this is a vehicle of the Spirit. It pushes them to another level. That's why you cannot listen to me and remain like this. You can't. No. No. I can't listen to me and remain the same. I can't. Felix here was he on the streets. Sleeping on the streets with cardboard boxes like this. That's very true, sir. He's with not on any books. salary from church. Nothing. Zero. Zero. Doesn't even know where the money goes to. I don't even know, sir. <laughs> and guess what? Houses. Houses. Yeah. Houses are, are, are locating him. May money of all currencies. Yes. Located. Ha. Stampede towards your bank account. I receive it. May properties of all sizes. Yes. Hmm. If I were you, my amen would be louder than my neighbor. Amen. Hey. Hey. Sit down. Listen to me. And some of you don't understand that the spirit is real. In Nigeria there. Are you, are you getting it? Yes. In Surinari. A man was having his nice time with someone's wife. And the husband knocked. Knock, knock, knock. The wife says, uh, uh, go under the bed. He says, but, but you never told me you are married. He says, yeah, look, look. We, it's no time to talk about this. He's the one knocking. And then the knocking became frantic. Knock. Real story. No nothing. Go, knock, knock. They are, the man said, yes. with this kind of knock like this, like the FBI is knocking. I know I'm in Nigeria, but I, I, under here, if he comes here and finds me, I'm dead. He says, look, is the window safe for me to... He said, will, will he, he said, just go, just go out of the window. The man jumped out of the window. When his feet landed on the ground, he was in a graveyard. Eight kilometers away. He's walking like this. Now he's wondering where he is. He's realizing tombstones everywhere. He moves. He goes to the gate. The people who were keeping the graves, the ones who were guarding there, you know, there were two or three, two or of them sitting there. Ran. <laughs> then they realized, no, 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 no. This looks like a human being. Like, they said, they said what, what, what's happening? He said, look, I don't know what happened. I just found myself here. He said, tell, tell your story. Why were you in there? Tell your story. He explained the story. They said, if I were you, I'll find a man of God who knows how to help you. Because this month, you are the eighth. You are sitting right there. In your head, this is just normal. I'm going to change tomorrow. I'm going to church. You don't know the fights that happen. As I'm standing here preaching like this, in your head you are hearing a message. Yet Paul says, when I minister to you, I put my head on the chopping block. He says, I die daily. I have a sentence of death on my life. He says, but I remain strong because I know there is a resurrection. So Paul is saying, there is a chance that I might be defeated while he's ministering. But if I die, there is a resurrection. So while he's a ministering here, you hear ministration. But I wish your ears could open to see the cries of the devil that I'm punishing right now. I decree and declare, we are punishing the devil that is troubling you right now. Sit down. We are about to finish. Do you realize, how is it, how is it that demons are able to transport a man Eight kilometers and not the real location to put him, a gravesite. So the man is walking out of a gravesite, but he's already dead spiritually. What happens is the Bible talks about the gate of hell or the gate of the grave as a gate. 
It says, at the gates of the graves, there is a place called the graveyard in the spirit. Where people are carried there by the realm of the spirit. By a demonic spirit. Imagine. They are there at the gate and they can call you. Have you ever had a dream where your dead uncle is calling you? A dead relative say, let's go. The ones who are alive never called you. Your rich uncle is not calling you in any dream. <laughs> One dead friend of yours. You were not even close for him to call you like that. One night, you just put... Oh, let's go. Where? You see yourself following like this. Before you get there, you wake up. You were like, hey, sh where were we going? That means there is an ability in the realm of the spirit, negative, that can call you to die before your time. And as long as you answer, you are dead. Now hear this, hear this now. Now imagine you are in a car and the driver is the one called. You wonder why road accidents are happening in this location, in that location, in China, in this place, in another place, in Mozambique, in Botswana, in South Africa. It's happening. And you wonder, where was God? The driver was called. And he got rid of the steering wheel. And everyone dies. That's why I tell people, every time, don't just walk out of your house. Prayer is a vehicle in the realm of the spirit. Be transported by prayer. You stand up and say, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I'm alive today. And I will remain so. This is why it's important to prophesy by this time next year. By this time next year, I'll be another level. By this time next year, I'll be, by this time in two years' time, you've already catapulted. Listen to me. Prayer is a transport. It's a protocol in the spirit. It goes into the spirit, into your future, to map out possibilities. It is an usher. It is a protocol. It is a postman. It is a messenger. It goes into the future. It looks at the landscape. Wherever there is an obstacle, it removes the obstacle and then comes back to you and tells you, let's go. That's why sometimes when you pray, you just feel la bahasi, hero takiro mahande valiska. You 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 can feel you 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 understand. You can alaska baya kaya. You can feel some boldness coming up in you. You know some boldness. Hey! That's why my father said, when you get a hold of it, don't stop talking it. The Bible says in the city of Ephesus, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Don't stop talking it. When you get a hold of it, keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. Now, all of a sudden, he said, you, you, you begin to sense. Ah, so many people say, miracle money is not real. Until Pastor Chris said, they, they look at you, better angel, and say, this guy, this guy, he just does like this and money, money happens. You don't know the God. It's, just, it's based on spiritual data. Sometimes that data has 25 codes that you need to call, cord, cord, cord. And if you stop on the 24th cord, you are dead. Man will not come. You need to get to the 25, the whole collective. Baya, baya, sir. Sit down. And sometimes when you are being transported, like my father says, you can be left with just one syllable. You know when you're doing your tongues and, and, and you feel like, you say, Labaratiso, Senoman, Krakatal, then you get to a point where you just go, Anegro, Kokose, Kika, Ah, Ah, No, 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 Ma, Ah, Yeah, Ah. Don't try to change the tune. Keep going it. He says, You go to Kakato, to, to, Kaka, Kakato, Kakato. What is Kakato? I don't know. Kakakato, Kaka, Kaka, Kaka. Hey, kakato, kakato, kakato. Before you know it, you break for balabaya. You get in the spirit. 
And it feels like there is a gem in the spirit. And some people might laugh at your tongues and say they are not really and they are not mature. He just keeps saying ta ta ta. Just go in tata. Even if it's two hours, keep tata. Because this tata thing is tata something. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. If they say, why are you saying tata? I say, I'm tata something. Yeah. There is some tata thing here. And, and something has to happen here. Tata, 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 tata. Until you go, la carista, bro. There is a time when you get in the spirit when people call you and say, how are you? You say, La Crusta, brah. <laughs> Where are you going? Soprena Villa in Kayaga. What are you using? Le Rusia Man, Le Fredo Cruz, yes. How is family? Risoplarisco pa. You are being carried by the vehicle of the spirit. Don't let it go. Don't try to speak their language. Speak yours. Don't try to tune into their language. Speak yours. Stick to yours. The vehicles of the spirit are alive right now. Yeah. Tongues are easy. But you are trying to copy someone else's tongues. So you think yours have not matured yet. Kakaka. Kakato. 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 Don't change the gear. Keep pushing it. Kakato. Because it's all about tunes and chords in the spirit. And some of the chords, if you have ever spoken Chinese, you understand Maliko Saata. Ah, sometimes you don't know how to thank him. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell your someone, I love you, I love you, Lord. Tell God, I love you. Wherever you go, oh, tell God, my love, my mind, my mind, Are you hearing me? 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 Hey! Hey! There are times where you just want to thank God. And if I was in the belly, see I won't get cool. If I was Japanese, arigato gozi amazu. But I just speak tongues like Rasta bra. There is a move of the spirit. When you get a lock in the spirit, yes. keep your lock on. Yes. Keep your lock on. Yes. Keep your lock on. Yes. Your enemies will never stop. That's why I never pray for the enemy to stop. God is ready for promotion. After you talk, we are promoted. God is about to promote you. God is about to promote you. God is about to promote you. Sit down. Jesus. Listen. Around the world, there is a move that is taking place. Mama, don't worry about your situation. Huh? Don't worry. Would explain so that we quickly do this. Would, Thank you, Prophet. Are you, she, is she alone? Okay. Listen, God is about to do something over your life. Thank you, Prophet. And Thank it's going you. to shock a lot of people. Thank you. How I God receive. is moving you around. I receive. Thank you. Thank you. She understands what I'm saying perfectly. Because I saw the winds in the realm of the spirit. I saw the in the realm of the spirit of change happening. Yes. But it seems as if in an environment where a woman is more prayerful than anything that is there, where it's like she holds the location as here. It's like everything in there is controlled by her spiritually. 
Thank you. Thank you. That's very true, prophet. She is the one who is always in church. Ah. She is the one who is always in church praying. But I saw something written. The Lord said, I'm about to answer the prayer that you did of someone. And I saw you kneeling in your house like this. And as you knelt, I'm looking at the bed like this. Yes. And if you look at this, the bed at the, towards the wall, it's like it's movable. It's like it's shaky. Yes. And I'm, it's, even if you're like this, the bed will be moving like this. Yes. And I saw you shout, you said, T.T. Pearson, T.T. Yes, that's you. Rateva la askas. That's me, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. That's my name, Papa. That's my name, Papa. T.T. Pearson. And I began to see. You are prophesying already. And the wound I saw, it's like it just came up from nowhere. Yes. The wound. Yes. It's like it just came up from nowhere. Yes. It's not like somebody was hit by anything. It just came up from nowhere. Yes, it just And his came. top is refusing to heal. Mm -hmm. yes. By the yes. power of the yes. Almighty yes. God. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Heal by the power of God. Oh, I command everything that was not working to begin to work now. Thank you, Jesus. So my see. eyes are open and my eyes are closed see. and my eyes are open. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is the one Thank there. You, this one. This. It's like he just started. It's like he just came up like that. Young man, I went by you. The first time I laid my eyes on you, listen, this is what I wanted to tell you. God is about to move you to a point where people are going to be shocked by what they thought you were nothing. Yes. But you're about to become something. I receive prophet. Oh, they don't, it's not here. I, I leave him prophet. alone. Prophet, badness. You see, the Bible says, holy men of God were moved. You, come. Yes. This is it. It's like people were seeing you as nothing. But I'm beginning to see by the realm of the spirit. Yes, prophet. I'm carried from here. Yes. And the Lord ministered to me. I'm dropped in Harare here. And by the spirit, I left and I lived by the spirit. I get to this location with Wharton Park, Waterfalls, Wharton Park. Yes, I live in Waterfalls. You, you live in Water, Waterfalls, Baraskin. Yes. And in the realm of the spirit, it was as though somebody was holding something. And they say it, as long as you follow what we are doing here, the spirit will give you a new level to the extent that right now there is nothing, no money is coming to you. Yes, it's true, prophet. Things are very difficult. It's true, prophet. Sometimes you even look at the... There is a man who is renting at the house behind yours. Yes. It's a big house here, then there is a person renting yes. there. Yes, but I'm seeing prophet. you like this. I saw, you know Naomi, you know Naomi in the Bible. What were the other, the other one? Ruth. Ruth. My sister's name is Ruth. Paresco Maleshke now. Major. Prophesy Major! Where's your husband? Did he send you this picture? Yes. You're here? Yeah. Are you the one here? Yes. Hey. I, I'm not feeling okay. I'm not feeling okay. Relax. Relax now. I'm coming to you. Prophesy! Every good to see a it is the enemy was going to get into the blood. You know what I mean. It was going to affect your blood. You understand what I'm talking about. It's like something has happened. It's like the enemy, just like the sister there. You know the sister there? Yes. Same, it's like same. somebody pierced. Yes. Here. 
It's like exactly. pierced to the point that you have memory. You know, heart memory. Yes. You know, it goes to, 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 and then it goes. It's true. Man and then sometimes there God. is no heartbeat. Yes. Then it comes back again. I'm not sleeping. True. It's true. And this, this is your wife. Huh? Yes. You call, you call him Habi. Yes. Habi. Yes. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Where is your phone? Mm hmm I saved his number. It's Habi. I saved his number. It's Habi. There is Habi. Yeah. Something is about to move to higher dimensions. Yes, man of God. I'm coming. I'm coming here. Yeah. And you will see your healing. Yes, man. Raise your hands. There is a spirit in man. There's a spirit in man. The Holy Spirit, of course, gives them understanding. I decree and declare now there is an opportunity that you have to see God in a different way. We are not men that joke. We're men of the spirit. Come woman, come. There is a move. Who brought you here? I came with my sister. Your sister, okay. Now, when I began to look at this, I looked at it in the realm of the spirit. And it was though a weapon had been thrown towards your family. It's true. It's true. A weapon had been thrown towards your family. It's true. It's true. And I saw that spear hit a man. And it was though everyone was crying Amen. Amen. at the family. Amen. Location. I'm seeing a location. And everyone is crying. Amen. Amen. And when I saw this crying, it was as though it was situated in a location. Amen. And this was hitting even the heart. Amen. It's true. The heart. Yes. Yes, it's true. And even the legs were now being affected. Yes. That to a certain extent, you will just sit there and breathe. It's true. The breathing is difficult. Yes, it's true. And to be exact, I saw Bulawayo. Yes. And I saw Gulumani. I live in Gulumani. I come from Kulumane. Jabo seven nofre. I come from Kulumane. And so that you know, I know what I'm talking about. Amen. I looked at number three. Uh, yes. And I saw a nine. Yes. I saw a one. Three yes. one nine. Three nineteen. Balisco offenders. Three nineteen Kulumane. And as I looked at it in Kulumane, I began to look. I said one. Say one. One, two, two, three, three four, four, five, 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 five. five. Gulumani five. Gulumani five. Malisa brought the Afro horses. At Spirit Embassy, we lost our logic. Amen. Amen. We are just working with faith Amen. Amen. in the realm of the Spirit. Amen. I correct everything Amen. that is wrong. Everything said wrong by Amen. the enemy is corrected now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Parasco Bales, yes, Parasco Aya. Jesus. Your finance is about to change. Yes, I receive. And a shift I receive. is about to take place. I receive. Is it sometimes when I'm traveling like this, I can smell my own blood? 
I can see my DNA. Yes, there is no way I can have, if I have a service like this, if one of your sons has strayed and came here, I'll be able to know this is for Branson. Not by the clothes. DNA. I can smell it. My God. Professor. How many Sundays have you come here? Uh, I always come, but not every time. Uh -huh. How many times have you been to Prophet Arthur's church? Uh, so many times. So many times. Okay. Ah. I can smell it. In the realm of the spirit. This is not our first time to meet. Yes, daddy. I met you in a dream. Yes, daddy. Uh, and Saturday. I spoke to you about the pregnancy. Yes, daddy. It's true. Yes. Spiritual yes, gynecology. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is three months, two days. <laughs> it will look like, if you look at it, it will look like it's three weeks. Sure, did I told my friend. Bareka Neko Satya. It's three months. It will look like it's three weeks. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Sure, did it's three months. Lamo Tali Gozaya. But it is like the enemy got you one time and you've dreamt like it was like you have a child. And it's like the enemy was always trying to hint a child, a child, and he never came. Yes, dad, I was. But scared. now here it is. Huh? Yes, I was scared, and I was telling you to daddy, pray for me. I'm scared to get me miscarried. You were scared in yes, the dream. Yes, yes. You should not be scared even in real life. You will yes. not be scared. <laughs> life in the name of Jesus. I receive. Life in the name of Jesus. Yes. There, 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 there. <laughs> Barasco, Baye. Now, now, when people think dreaming, people are dreaming. And I can tell I was in a dream, your dream. What do you think that is? If you're watching me by way of television right now, in the next seven days, every miracle you were waiting for will happen not to happen after seven days within seven days raise your hands in the mighty name of jesus every joy the enemy has stolen you shall receive it back in the name of jesus everything that the enemy has managed to capture that you're wondering when he's going to release it that capture is suspended in the name of Jesus. We break satanic warehouses. We steal all the things and recover back all the things that the enemy has stolen. In Jesus' name. A good news world with Hubert Angel. Provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.